joining us now live this morning to give us some more advice when it comes to how to better care for our plants and yards is JD and Bobby Boone, of course, from Dothan Nurseries and Buds and Blossoms. And as always, it's wonderful to see y'all this good, morning. Good morning. Happy good morning. Tuesday. Thank you. Happy to be here. <laughs> yes. And mentioning, you know, still hot. Officially fall now, but the the temps have cooled off a little yeah. bit, just a little bit. So, what is it good uh, to plant in pots now, um, this time of year? Th this is when people start thinking about replacing some of their summer flowers. You know, they had begonias and that kind of thing in their flower beds and pots, and now you start thinking about stuff that's going to enjoy the cool and the cold weather. The the first thing people think of is pansies and violas. Um, mm -hmm. th those are re really great because they can take the they love the cool weather and they can take the extreme cold too. Mm -hmm. So if we And that's for your flower beds this time of year. Flower or beds pots. And, and flower pots, yeah. So pansy, pansies, pansies, and violas. Viol yeah, and a viola is just a miniature pansy. So mm -hmm. pansies, okay. violas, uh, snapdragons, um, that that kind of those thing. Are the and, types and, and of flowers are planted this time mm -hmm. of year. Yep. There's some pictures of them, I think. Is that right? Yep, yeah. yep, those are pictures yep. of them. Yep. Okay. All right. And so and talking about fruit trees, if you plant a fruit tree, then how long until it starts to make fruit? Well, different ones take different times, but generally, if you water it and fertilize it where it's growing and vigorous in a couple of years, you can start making peaches and plums and apples, that kind of thing, mm -hmm. maybe two years. You'll make a few the first year, but I'd pull off the fruit so the growth goes to the tree versus the fruit. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we'll have them in pots that have fruit on them this year. Y'all have so. several different fruit trees. Yeah. Y'all yeah. probably yeah. have any and every kind you can probably think yeah. about, don't y'all? Yeah, that's <laughs> right. That's right. <laughs> okay, and so how long do mums usually last? Uh, mums is another thing people think think of getting this time of year you know you get a you get a poinsettia at Christmas a lot of mm -hmm. people get a mum when it's fall and it's just, just a big pretty ball of flowers mm -hmm. most people think of them in yellow but they're in orange white purple pink mm -hmm. uh, bronze red all kind of colors and uh, most people get them sit them on the front porch and they're pretty and, yeah. and after a while they just kind of get tired looking and people mm -hmm. throw them away but it, it's actually a plant when it gets ugly, you can go plant it out in the yard and it'll come back every year and, and give you blooms in the fall and, okay. and you will know that it's fall again because uh, okay. the mom will come back so you can actually replant those. Okay. But you need to cut them hard because these that you we get are coming from a greenhouse that's been pruned and uh, so when they get in the yard they get a little leggy and lay over so if you cut them back to the ground they'll come out big and full. Alright, well um, do we cover all our ground? Do y'all want to add right. anything keep, else? Keep, keep watering. I know it's it's, it's cooler but, it, but, but yeah. keep, keep watering your Stuff. When it cools off a little bit like this and like it's going to, this, you know, when it gets hot in the summer, things stop growing. When it cools off a little bit, things start growing again and they actually need more water. Uh, so keep watering. All right, you never water enough, can you? No, no. <laughs> Not in this heat. All right, well, thank y'all so much. As always, we're going to put their contact information if you would like to reach them on our website at dothanfirst.com. And still ahead on Wake Up Wiregrass.